So into our previous video already we have seen how we can create a cloud ready applications and deploy it. Also we have discussed about different stages of the applications. Now here I'm going to use the same stages called as slots. Now I'm going to deploy my applications into different deployment slots. And what's the use of this that we are going to see over here. Now for example you have created your application and your user is connecting to this particular application. You have created a web based application on deployment slot production.website.com. So this is a deployment slot you have created which is a default deployment slot and all the users are connecting to this particular deployment slot and connecting to your web based application. Now what if if I want to create a new slot so that I can divert or direct my some of my users to different websites or different web development slots. So we can create a new staging website.com. This will be a different deployment slot. I can transfer some of my users to get access to my web application from this particular deployment slot. So it is very incredible by using your web deployment slots. So many of your users are started using your web application because we started using the deployment slots. The benefit of using the deployment slot is you can divide your traffic of your applications coming into the server into deployment slots. Now here if you have the old deployment slots containing the production.website.com will be able to deploy the same application where you can see here an example here I have deployed 10% of the traffic from staging.website.com where I'm same deploying the application to 90% of my users from production.website.com. So this way you can create different deployment slots and you can divide the traffic in the same system but only you are just deploying the traffic with the different deployment slots over here. And this ratio you can again change. If you want to keep it zero, you no more want the staging website to so deploy any of your applications, you can make it zero or you can even delete this deployment slot. If you want the ratio should be 50-50% you can again change the ratio of the traffic coming through your both the deployment slots. So let us see over here how we can create this deployment slots into your Azure and how we can use this particular deployment slots and divide the ratio between them into our portal. So uh, we already discussed about the deployment slots into our portal again we'll be moving back to our applications which we have created. So either you can go for your web application which you have created or your first mobile application and uh, here you can scroll down and generally you have an option where generally you have the deployment part. Okay, so this is a classic cloud service so we won't be uh, able to get anything over here. We will be moving into our first mobile application and into our uh, deployment part you can see you have an option of deployment slots. So like if your traffic is coming um, into only the one slot which you have created and you want to divide the slots of your application, you can add two different or three different slots as per your requirement. So you can define the production slot. Here you can see don't clone configuration from an existing slot. So it will be uh, a complete mobile application or you won't be able to clone it. So I'm going to use this. So my first slot will be created and again I'm going to add my second slot. So second slot I'm going to create as staging. Okay and uh, you will be able to get the second slot as well. So this is your slots which we have created right the deployment slots we can find this is a production slot and in a production slot you can deploy your different applications with the, you know uh, different we can say different version we can say this is one of my version is of for production other is for my staging so here you can also have this deployment options so into deployment options you can also check for your configuration performance so you can test the load which is coming in through your different users and as per the performance test you can also set which of the staging should be provided to which of the users as well as you can also set the staging servers right now where they are running you can swap the staging with uh, like where you can ensure that the staging servers if they are uh, you know using some applications so you can change the 
production servers to staging and staging servers to production. So we can sta swap the applications between both the uh, you know uh, production services we generally we have created. So it is showing you swap type. So we are going to swap or just we want to sw uh, check how we are going to swap it or really we want to swap. So I'm going to really swap this into your source will be the production to your staging. Preview, two warnings and other messages are coming if you do this. So what will happen? The performance will be changed, application settings will be changed. If you are okay with it, click on okay and go for okay. So this is how you can swap your application slots. So the application which you had into your uh, staging will be into your production and production will be into your staging. Next, if you talk about plans, services, your change application service plan, you can change the application service plans from here, which we have already seen. So it is swap is in progress as of now. So now they are running. And this way you can change or swap your deployment slots. You can create multiple deployment slots for your applications, which you have for different versions. If you want to deploy, you can. Uh, if you want to move your both the applications into a same deployment slots, you can do that as well. So this is how generally we have seen how we can create our deployment slot and swap those deployment slots into your application or existing applications.